Worms campaign missions. This is number 18, Enemy at the Crates. And this is an extremely tough mission. And Let's I would suggest it. you watch the video a couple of times, get the moves down Ready correctly. Ready so the first move is just take this guy off the ledge any way you really want. Fire punch. You've got five get fire out. punches, so you can use them at will. Suspect is severely weakened. So My this mission is especially difficult because you have to finish the with one of your worms with a health above 180. And considering you both start on 150, that's going to be extremely difficult. So getting one worm to collect the two crates is essential. The first crate is if you hop over all the mines and barrels, just grab the first crate there, the first health, set off the second bunch of mines and the final mine on the top watching to hover over and just travel back to where you started from setting off all the mines on the way just remember to jump over the other side of the lamppost on the scenery watch everyone explode and just Use your smash to create a hole that we'll use later. So preparation is the key for this level, really. Um, so now we've got our worm with 175 health, which still isn't quite enough. There is another health uh, crate down on the very bottom left, which you can just about see there. So we're going to go and get that crate and then keep that particular worm safe for the entire rest of the mission the first worm I would suggest use him completely as a decoy all the way through it doesn't even matter if he dies as long as one worm has more than 180 health at the end of the mission so the main objective for the mission I'm just going to bat this guy out of the way. The main objective for the mission is to collect the crate, which is in the building on the far right of the screen. It's the essential crate. The secondary objectives are kill all worms. Also, do not use the ninja rope. Obviously, this mission would be considerably easier if you could use the ninja rope. And, of course, as I mentioned earlier, you have to keep one of your worms, uh, or one of your worms at the end of the mission has to be 180 health or above. So what we're going to do now in our mech is just drop down, collect that next health crate, bringing us up to 200. So we've got a bit of, uh, bit of leeway here. This move particularly is important. Drop out of the mech, place a girder just for a little platform so you can get up there. As soon as you place it, jump back in the mech and do the double jump. Just so you can get halfway back up the scenery. And of course it doesn't tempt the AI worms to shoot any bazookas at that guy. So I actually did find this level pretty difficult, it took me a couple of occasions to be fair to get through. Um, I did finish it a couple of times, but I finished it without meeting all of the criteria, so getting the gold on this was actually a little tricky. So we're back to our first worm now, our decoy worm, as I like to uh, refer to him. One of the things I want to do here is just pop a grenade over by the mounted gun. You are just get rid of that gun and hopefully knock that worm into the water as well. And that's what we've done. You've been served, sunshine. Time for me to put this to use.
The handcuffs are in here somewhere. Put. Okay, so Constable Cuffs is going to. <laughs> What's he going to do? Constable Cuffs. Street justice. It's a bad bazooka shot. So this is what I mean about using him as the decoy. If you place him there, the with enough rock face around, they'll shoot bazookas into the rock all day long. So we're back with our mech. We've got a clear route up to the top. We're going to just do the double jump and hover all the way along. And this is what I mean by earlier, the fact that we prepared all of this earlier on means that we don't have to stop and smash anybody. We can just run straight the way along, grab the two homing rocket launchers that are in the crate and the crafting parts. Uh, just a quick smash on this guy, make sure you're a little bit far away from him so you're getting to ping off. And there we are, this is, so we're just a few minutes into the mission now. We have got just three worms left, four worms left? Just four worms left uh, on the AI, or three worms left, sorry, on the AI turn. Uh, we've got our decoy worm on the left hand side. And the mounted gun gone. And on the right hand side, we've got our worm that has got over 180 health, who is in the mech. And all of this really couldn't have been achieved if it wasn't for Here's the preparation that we did earlier. And as you can see there, I just tapped X at the wrong point. Dropped Suspect a little grenade and luckily I managed to, to escape. So a wasted a wasted and turn on, there on. on my part. But still, even so, to get this mission completed so quickly and efficiently, I can I can forgive that to be fair. The handcuffs are in here somewhere. You're wasting police munitions here. Okay, so we are back with our mech. And don't be tempted to stay in it, just get out and uh, use some of the weapons that you have available. Numerous things you could do here, just drop a grenade or a mine down on Constable Cuffs. I'm just going to pop a bazooka shot over to these two guys, see if I get lucky about knocking either of them into the water. Nope. And just remembering to scarper back so none of them get tempted to shoot a bazooka up towards me. Because even if I lose two health there, that's not going to be pleasant. Okay, so we are back with our oh, wow, decoy worm. And this is the move that I was going to do in the last go, except I hit the grenade wrong. So off goes our sheep. Uh, off I go to a little bit of safety. And we'll see where the sheep's bounces take it. Sometimes your sheep's bounce can go a little bit awry. As it did there, I could see he was going to actually jump into backwards. So we got a little bit of damage done. We got Protected rid of favorites. one of the worms there. And again, I'm really hoping that he doesn't try and shoot Straight at the down. mech. Thankfully, he's still shooting at the decoy. And you can see all the damage that's You're been done to the rock face around. Here. So we're back with our mech again. I'm not going to do anything with the machine itself. Just going to pop out and drop a mine on. Yeah, drop a mine down onto this worm below me. And again, remembering to just, just 
jump out of the way. No and that takes out Constable Cuffs, leaving just one worm. And we're still at less than seven minutes into the mission. I think the first time I completed this actually took me the whole, almost the whole 20 minutes. So refined and refined for you guys. Like I said, watch the video a couple of times, get the method down correctly. You'll be all over this. Keeping community safe and secure. Oh, and the AI just decides to Let's commit suicide there. So our final shot is going to be a homing launcher rocket. Um, we just want to take out that final mounted gun. So just a quick aim on that and a shot straight up. Stick around. Takes out the gun and we've got our final move. Allow me to break the ice. Just popping down with the mech. And you've got your blowtorch. Honey, I'm home. Bye. Uh, just try not to hit the mine. Like I did. Causing myself just a couple of damage there at the end. But still over the 180. Big mistake. You can see the mounted gun there at the top. One thing that I tried was coming in at the top. Don't try coming in at the top. It'll take you out. So that's this mission complete. Hopefully that's helped you out. And I'll see you in number 19.